G'day, this is Captain Noob, and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, Iron Man, Legend, and also with a few mods. We're about to start Operation Hidden Rage, and basically what the game wants from us is to go and destroy an alien facility, and we've got a confirmation that the third and final alien ruler, being the Berserker Queen, is here. So we'll be able to take her out. We've got Miranda, um, Powerade, Devastator, Ghost... Lone Wolf and Japai, so we're bringing in quite the A-team here. Unfortunately, Ghost is a little bit tired, so it probably would have been a better choice to chuck on a Mind Shield. Because she might just freak out if someone takes damage. Sky Ranger, did we're in the pipe. Five by five. So it might be a little bit risky bringing her out, but soon we'll be able to get two Reapers. Um, we've got a COVID action running that'll increase our influence with the Reapers, so we might be able to get a second one which would be pretty neat. And they'll be at kernel level as soon as they get in. Local resistance forces tipped us to the location of an alien facility tied to the Avatar project operating out of this area. We're going in to shut it down permanently. Approach the target and place the X4 charges at the designated position. Then move to a safe distance for detonation. If we can take out that facility, right in the guts of the facility, we gotta go through all Menace of that. Five. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. All right, this ain't gonna be no cakewalk. Moving as ordered. But we can come in and just scout slowly with Ghost. We've got lightning strikes, so we can make a quick few easy strides here. But not too much of a problem if uh, we've got. If we've got, um, no time to deal with. So that's good. Let's move out. Will do. We've got Salvo on Marauder, which means we can fire two Frost Bombs at the same turn with her if we want to, which is pretty awesome. We've got action here. I'm totally okay with uh, Got a group of hostiles not here. throwing down on the first, uh, I mean, throwing down on the first thing we see because we'll always have a uh, ghost for us scouting. I go where I'm needed. So we could um, get in there and just chop them up if we can see them. I'm going to come down a bit further. There they are. An alien scouting party. Alright, so we've got a little bit of trouble. And I don't want to go too close to those guys because I've been there before and it's a bad situation to be in. When you think you're not going to get detected, but then you do. So it's just best to keep our distance, I think. I'm going to go and... I don't know where to go, actually. All of the better spots are taken, and I don't want to leave her flanked. I'll go into half cover. That should be alright. Won't have anything bad show up here, because we've already dealt with the hunter last time, and we kind of crushed him. And once we get into his little... Um, his little sanctuary of his, we should be good. Now, if you want to... Stop, please. Are you shitting me? Come on. Alright, so he's dead. Ghost, be cool. I need help here. What? Alright, she's not freaking out yet, but we could have major problems here. What? Really? Again? What? What is it with this game, man? Alright, fine. We've lost our Reaper. Again. Due to <laughs> enemies being bullshit. But luckily for me, these guys are like... Wait, we haven't even been spotted yet? 
Wait, the concealment... Who's still concealed? Is Jado still concealed? Why? Alright, this is weird. Not a problem. Oh, it's the Nova Watch. Losing it. Alright, let's get a little bit of revenge for a ghost. Like, what are the odds of them walking exactly where ghost is, right? It's gonna come down and just blast this robot into next week. Shredded, and will die due to uh, Blade Storm. Don't need to worry about that thing. We've got more pressing issues here. I think we'll take out the Elite Lancer, who's totally flanked. Well, there you have it. XCOM had another one of its moments. Some good damage. And we've still got one more shot if we want, which we'll probably take on this. Now, unless the um, heavy mech goes for goes for the rocket first, I don't think we'll have too much issues. <laughs> Blade Storm. Unfortunately, it's not going to work out. Yeah, I didn't get it. So, yeah, that elite spectre at one health. Don't have to worry about it. It's nothing. Alright, cool. Goodbye. And sends into the wall at supersonic speed. Classic. And we've got more nonsense over here, do we? Said the guy who was knocked out. Man, I'd love having a scout right now. Wouldn't that be nice? Alright, so we got to deal with this... Uh, actually, that's a really good shot. Mm. <laughs> Chance how we could possibly kill him. Not quite. The shredding, however, is very nice. On reserves. I'm gonna get a little bit closer than what I'd like. 73. Yeah, this will work, won't it? Won't it? Won't it? I must focus my strides. I'll hail of bullets this if I have to. Because I will. Just kidding, I actually need... <laughs> we are falling apart at the moment. Maybe because the command is a little bit... Oh, we've got hair trigger. Alright, that's better. Alright, welcome back, Jappi. You want some more? I'm all out. And she can just die now. Don't really care that I'm not actually in cover here. I can actually get down here. Because uh, what will happen is maybe the shield bearer will run off and um, raise his shields if he's not a coward. There he is. It's an interesting shot. Yep, he's raised his shields. All right, we're going to have to carry her out of here as well if we want to keep that uh, gun of hers, which I will because uh, it's a repeater weapon. Back in. On my way. 
Now we've got holo targeting here with Jado, so we'll have this first shot with him. It's not even that bad, to be honest. There we go. So that's a bunch of these uh, um, shredded... I don't want to go too far forward here, just in case we aggro something like a Berserker no Queen. Never mind. She just had to modify a berserker, didn't she? Her curiosity was not unfounded. Although I agree, it was perhaps not the most prudent of choices. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Take that thing down before it has a chance to run. And a bloody turret as well. Ah, man. Alright. Well, I'm going to have to run back. Might just, like, disorient them if I can. I can't actually hit both of them. Or maybe I could. There you go. I don't know how well this will do. No, it's disoriented the queen. That's worth a blade storm, at least. Oh, I got it stunned. Dear, oh, dear. Gonna chain shot this. Come on, Marauder. You can do it. Very nice. Alright. Cool. Then we can whiplash this. It's a free action, so we'll take it. Then I think we'll give combat presence to Lone Wolf, to Kala, and then uh, whatever. Alright, so that's my turn over, and duck, Carla. I will use my uh, frost bombs here, for sure. We'll see if we can't, there we go. Oh, there you go, it stops her from being disoriented somehow. It's kind of odd. I think we'll take this shot with Carla again. Hair trigger, so it didn't even count. We'll do it again. Big whiff. Non va bene. I didn't bring any specialists, did I? I think I did. Hair trigger again. It's pretty good. We can execute this thing. It'd be pretty unreal. All right, we'll use another frost bomb here. Get ready for a surprise. And then we'll shoot it again with Devastator. There we go. Bigger they are, the harder they fall. I'd love to ask Valen what exactly she planned on doing with this thing. I would be curious to hear her reason. Although I would question whether reason was ever involved in this decision. Commander, that's the last of them. Three botched science experiments. Three alien rulers down for the count. The very least, the is still I can still hear its idle noises. Up some new gear in the process. Not a bad haul, considering. Here I come. Well, Good to go. this operation has been a total disaster, hasn't it? 
And we've got an extra move, so... We're over here. So we've got no way of uh, bringing Jasper back. We've got to find out. We've got to go and pick up... Let's do this! Um, ghost as well, unfortunately. I'm on it. Some typical XCOM nonsense right there. Them walking right into you. Why do they do that? I've never actually read into that. Why can't they walk? Because they're dead, Miranda. It's because they're dead. Let's move already. Right, we'll take this nice and slow for the rest sure of it. We'll definitely missile this so we can uh, not have to worry about it. There's a couple of vipers over there. It's pretty scary. Um, maybe we um, keep keep the bodies over here, right? And then we'll have, like, a squad of four rather than a squad of three. I've still got the two acid bombs to uh, wreak havoc with. Alright, alright, what do we got? Uh, gatekeeper. And a big turret. And a couple of flappers. Alright, so this is the reason we brought along... Um, the acid bomb and the other things and such. So we've got a plasma bomb right here to open this whole place right up, which I think is a pretty good deal. Boom! Absolutely. Then we could acid bomb these guys. Uh, looks like I can't. Oh, wait, no, I can hit them all together right there. This is for you. So, how much health have they got left? Two and two. They might just die from the damage there. I could Mimic Beacon this, and I think I might. I've got two actions, so... Well, one of them... I'm got a 35 on that thing. Alright, what I'm gonna do is, uh... Whoops. Should've run and gun. Um, if they, if they survive, they might come running at Carla, right? So maybe that's not so bad. I'm going to use Combat Presence to give to Powerade, and then I'm going to send an EMP bomb in. Just to make it go to sleep, perhaps. It'd be brilliant if it did. We're sitting in half cover here. That turret's going to be attacking us next turn. Unfortunately, didn't work out. Dead snack, dead snack, and a little bit of damage from you. All right, let's see what happens. Yep, gonna go and take out the mimic beacon, and quite literally one shot it. Hey, good for you. Now, if you are going to tongue pull, you should probably know that you're gonna get blade stormed. What a good that did ya. And now I've got a hide advantage against your giant golf ball friend. 
dear, oh dear. Alright, we can totally shred all of his armor. Got a poison on it as well. Let's do this. I'm going to reload and then I'm just going to hail a bullet set just to guarantee the hit. Then I might come back here. Heading out. And pick, pick Ghost up. up. Yeah, I can still hear the idle noise of the Berserker Queen, weirdly enough. I'm gonna pick a Jap Eye up who is knocked unconscious by the Berserker Queen. And then what we might do is sort of wait out here, maybe move a little bit closer, and then I'll probably get um, Carla to set the charges. I'm going to stay here for now. Ricevuto. Mi muovo. Gonna move to a place where Menace the turret five. can't get me. Combat music has started. Let's rock. One five status confirmed. X four charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Grab the loot on the way out. Preso. Portatemi via. Let's do this. Not a problem. Okay. So the thing about losing resistance soldiers is that you can always sword. get like new ones at a leveled rank so it's really not the end of the world here plus she's not one of my angels so i don't feel super bad about it i do feel bad though but like what could i have done about that i couldn't have predicted the enemies would have moved in a way to do that it's a rough mission so that's two reapers i've killed so far Can't get another one soon Their enough. Today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump. My people would rather die fighting than starving in a shack somewhere. No regrets, Commander. Propaganda never looks so pretty. Really, Bradford? You gonna drop that one in? All right, we got kill zone. That's pretty good. Chain shot, definitely a good option there. Having recovered another of Dr. Ballin's modified alien test subjects, we should begin an autopsy as soon as possible. By following her own research notes, it is my hope that we will uncover the true purpose of her work. The alien facility now stands in ruin, Commander. Excellent work. Your efforts will no doubt slow the aliens' progress towards the Avatar project. Good job. All right, we can't promote anyone else, unfortunately. So now you should understand why I've kept my people away from their cities all this time. The aliens offered up miracle cures, and they weren't lying. Death does. Alright, so that'll reset the timers, give me a little bit of time to uh, sort out this avatar project, but uh, we need supplies, so let's get Avenger them. Plotting new course. Reapers are my favourite faction, I seem to lose them most commonly due to just some bullshit. 
that's what that was. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I have come to firmly believe that Dr. Valen's unbridled ambition left without the Commander to maintain some semblance of reason led her to pursue a path of research that was as misguided and regrettable as my own service to Advent. Let's get the Berserker clean going. The most dangerous of my three test subjects, the Berserker Queen, also represents the greatest leap towards the boundaries of what could be considered reasonable and ethical research. Even in wartime, I must consider the fact that by providing an already unstable alien being with equipment that may further its own capabilities, I risk crossing a line that can never be uncrossed. So, we are three for three on rulers now, which is awesome. It's good to see. Working at the Advent Clinic, I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the alien's arrival. The elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. This is why I like Tygen better than I liked Valen, because he's got a redemption arc going on. And what did he do in his time off? He didn't make giant monsters that you had to kill and knocked out your best rangers. Alright, Paladin Savage is back. Kala is back. To approach a problem you can't solve. Just build a machine to do it for you. Improved swords. Yes, please. Alright, now we've got the influx in of supplies. Report, it was irresponsible and borderline irrational for her to have pursued this research. Knowing Let's the go. incredible risks involved, not just to herself, but to what little of humanity as a whole remains. All right, agree, that is an important task. So plenty the started, of these good, weapons you coming along. The project is ready for deployment. There's a lot of talking going on. Yes, plenty of the uh, armor projects coming along. I'm going to do the Icarus armor first because I like it a little bit more, and the rest of these supplies I'm gonna try to put into getting Commander. plasma lances let's see plasma lance celestial gauntlets are nice as well i would do shadow lance you see but well we can't actually upgrade that now <laughs> i'm guessing because um we don't have any reaper units left whoops need illyrium and supplies I upgraded Kazi a little bit before. In one of the corridors. All right, now we can utilize this to damn it. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Ah, uh, keep those out. All right, a little bit more supplies. So now we're all short on is um, Illyrium crystals, which we could pick up from here, at the costs of basically what intel we have left. We've got a small discount though, so we might be able to snag these for. A better price. Market is open. Let's go. I want my plasma lances, man. We need, we need good snipers. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the talk, talk, team, talk. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. There, I gave someone a job. They don't have to sit around all day doing jack. There you go. Are you happy now, Sh Shen, Lily? Good? Alright. Now. Just give the word and I'll get started. Commander. I think that actually ate into our supplies again, didn't it? So, no plasma lances for me. What can I do for you, Commander? Um, we could, like, make up the supplies from this. Would you like some... You're very interested in faceless corpses and sectopod wrecks, which I'm not giving away. No way. You can have some of these sectoid corpses. I only think I need a couple. Don't think purifiers are used for anything. 
couple of mutons as well. We need them. I'm going to sell the bad weapon attachments, I think. Tracer rounds, I don't even use them, so we'll sell all but one. We could make a lot of cash. And I think I'm going to sell the exosuit because I don't think I'll want to use it. Advanced auto loader, keep that one. Spider suit, uh, that's still useful to an extent. We need a gas bomb for these to be super great, so we'll sell that one. And confirm. Alright, so we got a little bit of cash back from that. Hey commander. Which means we can build plasma lancers. And now all we need to do is get this going. Lyrium crystals. If we could get a supply raid, that would be pretty nice. Now that I've put that out and then the ether, watch the next mission be a supply raid. I suppose, I mean, we can't expand or anything. We don't have anything for it. So we could either go for supplies, sword of loot, or heavy weapon. Avenger if that was like forward. a powered weapon, then I'd go for it. But I'm not really looking for a basic shredder gun. Shredstorm cannon would be great. Alright. We can chuck a dude in there to decrease the time of the training. And we've got enough supplies for some new recruits. Iris, get in there. And who else? Ah, just one. Actually, what I... Nah, let's get more angels in, I think. Let's get rain. So, once we get enough cash for a second cell, I'll get two training at once for double the efficiency. And we're pretty much good right now. Um, we'll have... Find the Stronghold back in eight days, which means we'll probably see the ambush happen very soon. Jasper's back from being knocked out, probably was concussed for a few days. Jado's back. It's a rough mission. It's been pretty quiet. Here we go. And another engineer for... We, we don't need the engineers, but I'm going to go down there, because screw it. Sector 14, East Asia. I think the intel in is it's the best reward we can find from this, so we'll go. Right, Massive Sky Extract from Advent City, and it's times like these where I wish, I wish, I wish I had a range. I mean, a, not a ranger. I've got rangers. got plenty. I wish I had a um, Reaper. Right, we'll do the blue screens on Muncha. And then Carla is ready to go as well. Uh, she's hit, taken a little bit of a hit to her will, so maybe we'll keep her out for a moment more. We'll bring our spark again. We've finally got um, our brilliant plasma lances. So if you want to... Uh, Grab that out. There it is. It's pretty nice. Although you're really not my best sniper, are you? You're only down in the sergeant rank, so you, it's probably better off grabbing someone else. We'll definitely bring Kazi along. Hopefully we won't aggro any pods or anything. But he's finally got his celestial gauntlets, which means he's going to be doing tons more damage. I think we'll bring Marauder out again. Instead of the AP rounds, I think I'll be taking blue screens. The frost bombs will keep. And uh, over here, we'll grab Talon rounds. And we'll get Arashi and the Katana going. Could go Skulljack as well. We'll go Flashbang. Which leaves me one more position, which we can grab, probably, 
another sh probably a sharpshooter. I think that's probably the way to go. Although I wouldn't mind another like these guys with bombs, EMP bombs and an acid bomb. That's probably the better call here. I've been enjoying double grenadiers, and we've got a repeater on this thing as well, so it's going to be pretty good if that goes off. So, Operation Massive Sky, it's like Big Sky from the first XCOM reboot game thingy. Extract VIP from Advent City, very difficult, and an engineer and intel up for grabs. Wish me luck for this one, might be a little bit difficult. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Rip Ghost, R.A.P. Rest in peace.